I'm Eric Nasa with NewShooter.com. I'm at NAB 2022. 22. 22, baby. And I'm with Andrew here at Deity. How are you doing, Andrew? I'm doing fantastic. Awesome. I see we have a interesting new product here. Let's talk it's about a it. Little, it's, it's a little nice. <laughs> uh, this is our alpha prototype of our brand new slate. It's about 85% done. We have been showing it off to people here at the show, taking a lot of feedback from the community. When they're like, can it do this, this, and this? We're like, let's talk further. <laughs> so it's not the final model. This is not what's going to look like. There's going to be some changes. There's going to be a lot added to it. So we are taking in a lot of feedback, a lot of positivity around this product. We're very excited to bring this to the market. We've been working on it. It's a passion for us to innovate in areas where we feel are underserved. Mm. And we think by making the world's first Bluetooth enabled smart slate, we are really adding to the workflow for a lot of sets. Well, let's talk about some of the features it has. So it does work with our Citus audio app, just like our new timecode box. So your slate and your timecode box will sync from your phone for the first time ever with the push of one button. And that's going to help so many people out there that still had to hard jam their timecode slates. And it's like, it should just work. And why not? Your box can do it. Why couldn't the slate do it? We wanted to add those extra features. It's going to display metadata when you clap. We're also running on a brand new battery system that's not been used in a slate before. Most slates out there on the market use AA batteries, which is fantastic, but it's 2022 and let's get some lithium in that play. So dual MPF 550 cells, you can hot swap between your batteries so you don't power down, which means you don't lose sync. But furthermore, it means we have 300% more battery capacity than what we would have if it was just a AA. And, and how long does it run time on this baby? It's hard to say because, you know, ACs will just do this and leave it open <laughs> on their <laughs> cart and forget. <laughs> yeah. uh, but in doing the show yesterday, we did this. We left it open, you know, try to show off the sexy display and everything. And it is. We think it's sexy. Yeah, it's nice. We're owning that sexy appeal. <laughs> uh, I want to say we're at like 95% battery life at the end of the day. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's we're, talking, we're, we're talking 12 more oh, hours. Oh, over yeah. 100 hours oh, of right. runtime for hours. sure. Okay, very good. Now you also mentioned there's a little display in the back that's uh, kind of unique. Yeah, so on the back of the unit itself, so often with these kinds of devices, the front display was used for the menu. Mm -hmm. And then you have to learn like codes and things like that, and you kind of had to figure out how to actually operate it. We give you a dial, just like the same dial on our timecode box. We give you the same menu as our timecode box. So the ecosystem, if you were using one, jumping onto the other one is super easy to do. It should work just flawless. You know, your ecosystem should support firmware that kind of feels native for the platform. And that's what this is great because if you can use it and you can read and you can operate, you can just work faster, we feel, instead of having to use some proprietary like message coding system. <laughs> Very nice. So obviously, jumping into the market. You guys are like to be market. competitive. What are we talking about pricing wise and availability? Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars? Thousand dollars. You're going to save about 33% more on us than you would with the average price of uh, slate sale. Availability, end of August. End of August, all right. Thank you, Andrew. Very cool. Thank you guys.